this is Tony Cunningham here, and I'm going to be talking about this last chapter in the class where we talked about privacy and media liability. So, uh, according to Black's Law Dictionary, libel um, is a, defor- a deformatory statement um, that is published through any manner of media. And under libel and slander, um, there are exactly six elements that have to be proven in order to uh, deem a work to be libelous. Um, the first one is defamation. Um, defamation is basically a statement um, that damages a person's reputation. Uh, of course, false falsity, which is obviously false information. Communication, um, if the information was broadcast or published uh, to where at least one person uh, saw it. So, like I said, even if just one person saw the broadcast or saw the publication, uh, it could be uh, counted as uh, libelous. Uh, also, identification, um, that's where the story clearly uh, identifies who the person is, whether uh, they describe them uh, with detail or if they actually say their name. Uh, fault, that's when the media outlet um knows for a fact that the um that the information was false and that's actually known as um actual malice uh and then you last but not least you have harm uh this is where the story actually harms somebody uh whether it's loss of reputation embarrassment or an actual out of pocket out of pocket loss or they lose the money and uh in a case that has to prove uh, liability. Uh, all six of these have to be uh, have to be proven. You just can't have one and say, "Okay, it was libelous," uh, because, for example, identification, uh, where a story clearly identifies who a person is. Um, many entities identify different people, but uh, they could be telling the truth, and it's not libelous. So uh, it has to go with all six of these parts. And uh, we talked about how this can affect a person's private or a private or a public figure. And we talked about the difference, of course, with a public figure is someone uh, such as a celebrity or someone that volunteers to put themselves out in the public spotlight. And then, of course, a private figure is just, it's totally opposite. A private citizen is somebody that's totally opposite to that. Um, and then that goes directly into the next section within this chapter, uh, which is the privacy. And then, of course, there's four torts like we always talked about, intrusion of privacy, public disclosure of embarrassing facts, false light, misappropriation. Um, you know, those four things. Um, and if one of these are proven, um, then it is considered uh, an invasion of privacy. Um, and then, of course, the case that we referenced in class, uh, which is a very good case, we broke it all the way down, uh, was the Mark versus King TV case. Uh, I was very interested in that case, um, of course, because it was a pharmacist that was accused. Uh, he was reported for uh, selling $200, no, $200,000 worth of bad medicine to Medicaid patients. And then you have um, King TV cameramen. Uh, out there going to his home uh, to film for a story uh, but you had Albert Mark which was the pharmacist he uh, sued for invasion of privacy but the catch was with that case um, the cameraman went actually on a public street sidewalk and they didn't go into his home or touch his land or anything um, they were able to get the shots they needed from outside. Now, if they went onto his land or they went into his house, that would be a totally different story. But because of them standing on the sidewalk, uh, they were in the clear. You know, and there's so many cases that are very similar to that. Um, and knowing those rights will make sure that uh, any broadcast entity is uh, kept uh, within good standing of the law. So. That's pretty much it with that. Um, It was indeed a pleasure and an honor to be in this class, um, to learn so much. Um, 
it wasn't easy at all. Most definitely was not easy, but um, it was good to uh, be able to be pushed so that I can learn all this stuff and go, since I'm going into an industry to where I need to know all this good information. So that's it.